The muffled drum's sad roll has beat the soldier's last tattoo. No more on life's parade shall meet that brave and fallen few. As we commemorate the 150th anniversary of the Civil War, we prepare to honor the brave men and women who made the ultimate sacrifice on the battlefield. Three years after the end of the Civil War in 1868, Decoration Day was founded as a time for the nation to come together to decorate the graves of veterans with flowers. The first official observance was held at Arlington National Cemetery. The ceremony took place on the veranda of Arlington Mansion and was attended by dignitaries such as General Ulysses S. Grant. Flowers were spread on both Union and Confederate graves in honor of the fallen heroes. The tradition of placing small American flags atop each grave began on this day as well. It was not until after World War I, however, that the day was expanded to honor those who died in all American wars. In 1966, President Lyndon Johnson declared that the official birthplace of Memorial Day be Waterloo, New York, where local Civil War veterans were honored in 1866, 100 years earlier. This was considered to be the first formal, ongoing, community-wide event. In 1971, Congress declared Memorial Day a national holiday and placed it on the last Monday in May. In December 2000, the National Moment of Remembrance Act was passed into law. This National Moment of Remembrance encourages all Americans to pause for a minute of silence to remember and honor those who have died in service to the nation. Back in 1868, General Logan advised his people to guard their graves with sacred vigilance. Let no neglect, no ravages of time testify that we have forgotten the cost of a free and undivided republic.